They aren't exactly the same tunnels in the beginning and at the end. So before they enter the tunnel, they are already being tricked. Um, so after a minute and 53 seconds, the car enters the approach after passing by an old Japanese cedar tree and a Shinto gate that has fallen. From above here, the camera pans down. Now, do you see how the trunk of the cedar tree has broken? So have the branches and only a few leaves remain. When the camera pans all the way down, you see the paved road ends in the middle and turns into a mountain path. And that's where the gate leans right here on the tree. On the storyboard, there's an instruction that says this gate needs to be broken and tilted. It must have once stood facing the pathway a long time ago. But someone must have taken it off and set it on the side. So, I must say whoever did it is quite sinful. I'm guessing that this area where the paved road turns into a mountain path was the starting point of the holy precinct, or the sacred area. And the giant cedar tree, uh, which looks tremendously old and now dying, must be the symbol of the area. But the three people in the Audi enters the sacred land in a four-wheel drive mode without knowing anything. And here the father puts the car in neutral and wonders as he looks around going, oh, are we on the right direction? Then Chihiro finds something mysterious. This is a cedar tree, and on the foot of the gate, you can see a lot of small houses made of rocks. These small houses are God's houses or small stone shrines, and I wonder if you can notice, uh, but they have been thrown away, and it's not just one, but in a large number. And I want you to pay attention to how they are piled up in the disorderly way, I actually have the close-up picture of this. If you take a close look, you can clearly tell how these small shrines have been collected and thrown away altogether. I imagine that each of these has been placed in order along this approach back in the days and worshipped, but now they were removed and collected with the gate at the foot of the cedar tree. I imagine that one of the carpenters who did the construction work placed them together with the gate at the foot of the cedar tree that was once a sacred tree so that they wouldn't be cursed. Well, although I think they are simple enough to be cursed. If you look carefully as the car passes by, well, some of these stone shrines are missing roofs, and you can see how there are small tableware inside them. I believe they were used to offer things like sake, but do you see how one of them is in red? Uh, there's one that's in red and I don't know, but it's somehow a bit creepy. Uh, this red is not subtle, but strikingly bright that jumps into your eyes. Now, you may have already noticed, um, but Spirited Away is actually a horror movie. It's basically a horror movie, but the second half is made with taste of fantasy, which is so fun to watch. It's hard for us to see it also because of the storyline where Chihiro changes her name to Sen and works. But at least for the first 30 minutes of the movie until the part where Chihiro meets Yubaba is pretty straightforward horror. So, how should we see this scene, um, where an area that was supposed to be sacred is dishonored with the gate removed, God's house is abandoned, and a car with a four-wheel drive carelessly entering inside? Oh, I'm sorry, my tie's crooked. <laughs> how about this? Well, I'm telling a scary story, so maybe that's why. So, the storyline and the depiction here are structured so similarly to a type of Hollywood movie where a family, without knowing, moves into a cursed land owned by Native Americans. As for Chihiro, she has just left her last school, but hasn't transferred to a new one. Belonging to nowhere means she's unsettled, like a god without a house. 
she can enter this mysterious and sacred world because she's put under the same circumstance as the gods who are unsettled as their stone shrines have been destroyed. There's a classic setting in horror movies. That is, you can't enter into a cursed area unless you share something in common with the curse. In this movie, the entire family is unsettled. They're in the middle of moving, plus, well, I'll explain this more next week, but they are in the middle of a family crisis. That's why the three of them somehow look fallen apart, but that's how they also qualify to enter this world. The family crisis part may be a bit hard to understand, so I will explain to you step by step next week. Anyway, that's how they end up entering the God's land by mistake. Okay, uh, here. So... Uh, as the car runs through the mountain, the path suddenly turns into a stone pavement. It turns into a stone pavement and the car shakes and rattles. I mean, this is a mountain path. And uh, the fact the path becomes a stone pavement means that it is important enough for people in the past to lay the pavement. It's in the middle of a mountain, and the stone pavement is so much older than the, say, Edo period, so that indicates how sacred this path is. Even castles rarely lay stone pavement around them, so having one is a sign that they are entering into such sacred land. But the father doesn't notice it and drives the car in a furious speed. On the storyboard, there's a comment that says the mom is used to the dad's reckless driving. That's why she doesn't change her facial expression. But for Chihiro, it was the first time to see her dad drive like that. So she's so surprised. And suddenly a tunnel shows up in front of them. And in front of the tunnel, there's something called Sekijin. Um, which is like a, a doll in a shape of a human. Those stone figures are typically excavated from ancient Japanese tombs in the northern part of Kyushu Prefecture. And you can tell that this sacred area has been developed quite a long time ago. So when the family wonders what this is and looks up above this red tunnel, you see unreadable letters. And there is some sort of a roof and a sign over here, but you can't read what it says. Although it actually says Abraya, there is an instruction on the storyboard that says make them unreadable. So what continues from here is a theme park with a hot spring facility that's built before the economic bubble burst. But there's no real hot spring. I mean, because there's no spring source. Abrea in the movie boils regular water with a charcoal kiln instead of natural hot spring. So it's a fake spa, but they still claim that it's hot spring village. I'll explain this more in details as they get to the town. But the car suddenly stops around three minutes past since keep changing fast. Um, uh, whoops, okay. It's only been 3 minutes 23 seconds since the Totoro logo and the title. So the parents enter the tunnel, the father seems unalerted and says, Oh, it's just made of mortar. This building is pretty new. He talks like he knows what this place really is, but that's because he works in an architecture industry. That's how he knows so much about the architecture. So he doesn't care, but a strong wind blows from behind them and they blow together and enter into the tunnel. That gives Chihiro a bad feeling, so she refuses strongly to go inside the building. This is at 4 minutes 18 seconds. She says, I'm not going. Only the father and the mother go in. But when Chihiro glances at the stone figure, it's actually kind of hard to tell, but the camera zooms into the stone figure extremely slowly. You may notice it more easily if you look at the edge. The lens is closer to the subject in this picture compared to this one. Uh, the background flows outward. 
It's so subtle, but the scene is so carefully depicted with such a slow tracking shot where the camera gets closer to the figure. Chihiro's mind is captivated by it, and she's having a bad feeling. Uh, this is only a uh, two-second cut, so you can't really tell what's going on. By the way, there was originally a setting that this stone figure turns into a frog at night and spouts water from its mouth. But later they omitted the setting thinking that they would be going too far. But there is a scene where another stone figure spouts water from its mouth, so please think the reason why there is a river between the two worlds which prevents Chihiro to cross is because this guy eventually turns into a frog. So that's how they enter the building. Chihiro has a bad feeling but still she ends up going inside. This is a scene where the father and the mother go inside a tunnel for the first time. The mortar wall is painted in red. This is a scene at the end. This is almost at the last scene, the family is coming back from the other world. Here, you see the same tunnel, but the stone figure has turned into a mere bullet, and the wall is a stone wall that is covered by trees. They aren't exactly the same tunnels in the beginning and at the end. So before they enter the tunnel, they are already being tricked. They have already entered the other world, so the mysterious world doesn't start when they come out of the tunnel, but before they enter it. Then when exactly do they cross the boundary line? Well, it's probably um, right when they pass by the small stone shrines that they enter the world of gods. So this is 5 minutes and 53 seconds. When they reach the end of the tunnel, they see a wide plain and an uphill stretching out, which later becomes like an ocean. And there's no one on that plain.